you know what? During episode one, I didn't really care if I was lying to myself. All I cared about was I had to do something. I had to start something right here, right now. So I decided to come up with a series. Hello guys and good morning. Welcome to episode number 21 of 4W30. Today is a Monday and today is Mamba Day. August 24, 2020. Mamba Day, of course, is Kobe Bryant Day. Although it is unofficial, you know, fans of Kobe Bryant all over the world are celebrating this day because of the numbers 8 and 24. If you remember, during the first half of Kobe's career, he wore number 8. And then during the latter part of his career, he wore number 24. So 8, 24, August 24. Mamba, we miss you so much. May you rest in peace. Not only is it Mamba Day today, I araw, nakaschedule din tayo for a weigh-in. So it's been three weeks now since we started dialing in sa ating diet, nutrition, and of course, cardio and exercise. Our starting point was 182.6 pounds and then bumaba tayo ng 178.6 pounds and then last week we weighed in at 177.6 if I'm not mistaken. And right now I am in the same exact position as always. Narito na rin yung ating weighing scale. So yeah, all that's left is for us to do a weigh-in and of course a physique update as well para makita natin yung visual changes natin. I'm quite confident that we lost weight this week because like I said, we have been very on point when it comes to all those three factors that I mentioned a while ago. So without further ado, here is our official weight for week number three of 4W30. So guys, we are at 176.6 pounds. Actually, nagkamali ako kanina. I said 177.6 pounds yung last week natin. It was actually 177.2. So we lost uh, 0.6 pounds. It's still progress if you ask me. But of course, ideally, we are trying to lose at least 1 pound per week. But yeah, 0.6 pounds is not bad. Progress is still progress no matter how small it is. Importante hindi tumaas yung ating timbang. I guess I'm gonna have to do a few tweaks sa ating diet. I guess I have to do some more cardio. Kasi meron ding days during this week na hindi ako nakapag morning cardio. I think I missed two morning cardios. Maybe that is a factor. But anyway, let's do a physique update guys. Para makita natin yung visual difference ng ating katawan from week to week. So there it is guys, we are now at 176.6 pounds. I think this matches our previous low for this year. Kung di ako nagkaamali, na-reach ko rin yung 176.6 pounds before I fell off the wagon. Remember that? That was the lowest that we had for this year. But my target actually, looking back at my goals for this year, sinurat ko pala doon was for me to be 170 pounds. So we are 6.6 .6 pounds away from that. And mas confident tayo ngayon na hindi na natin babaliwalain yun because ito nga, meron na tayong accountability diary sa YouTube. And I'm just gonna keep on posting updates all the way till we reach that goal. But I have to be honest with you guys as well that it's impossible for me to reach that goal before I reach my birthday. I'd be very happy if I can be 175-ish pounds on my birthday. Pero yun nga, malayo pa tayo sa ating goal weight na 170 pounds. When I started for W30, I actually had this in mind na hindi sapat yung 28 days for me to be able to reach the quote-unquote best shape of my life, right? 
you know what? During episode 1, I believe it was August 3, I didn't really care if I was lying to myself. All I cared about was I had to do something. I had to start something right here, right now. So I decided to come up with a series for me to stay accountable, for me to stay on track. Although at the back of my mind, alam ko na hindi realistic yung goal na yon. But yeah, fast forward to three weeks and we're happy with our progress. We are looking good, in my opinion. And we have lost six pounds already. And we're just gonna keep on pushing, guys.